Growing up in my household, my influences were very varied. My mother's side of uh, the family were doctors and lawyers and educators. And my father's side of the family really was from an extremely poor demographic. He uh, was a self-made man. He grew up in Darlinghurst with my father's grandmother. And everything that he had, he had to get for himself. He used to um, listen to classical music when I was very young. In fact, we, we only ever heard classical music at home. I went to the Conservatorium High School I really didn't have a strong academic streak. When I turned 18, I think I just reached one of those stages in life where I was questioning everything and I, I didn't quite know anymore why I was doing music and why was it so important that I just flow on with everybody else. I, I needed to have something a little bit more heartfelt and I needed to go away from it to be able to have some sort of perspective and if I came back to it then it was obviously the path that I needed to walk. I ended up going out to a friend's property out near Nimaji. It was almost a self-imposed exile. I just needed to get away from everything and everyone and go away and try and sort of find myself, I guess. I didn't miss the violin at all. It's kind of shut the case and, you know, that was basically it. My first job was as a rouseabout. My first day was like this nightmare of wool going everywhere and all the fleeces just breaking up and flying all over the place. And I was, you know, like, neck deep in fleeces and they were just kicking them out of the way and then they start disintegrating so it was like the sorcerer's apprentice I just felt <laughs> overwhelmed. Out on these really large properties you get this incredible sense of space and incredible sense of self as you go about your chores. So I, I really loved that gentle lifestyle where you'd wake up in the morning and you see a whole lot of wildlife and you get like an inner peace. It's just a beautiful, beautiful feeling and I love that. There's this overlying sense of connection with survival in a place like that where you, you need to be there for each other. And it's, it's not unlike being in a symphony orchestra. I'd say it's sort of like a big family or like a small country community. I've found there's a lot of direct comparisons there. Violin playing is a very physical job. I've found that the stronger I am, the easier it is to play and the less problems I get. I've got a very keen interest in bodybuilding and weightlifting. I absolutely love doing weights at the gym. I find a, a, a similar sense of feeling very calm and centred when I go into the gym. As I walk, walk up each flight of stairs, I get a lovely sort of mental sense of leaving something deeper behind. So by the time I get to the top floor where all the weights are, it's just me. There's, there's no music there. There's no family stuff there. There's no work stuff. It's a similar feeling that I got when I was out on the farms. It's that kind of feeling that there's a whole lot going on around you, but you're completely still inside. I get that same feeling from playing as well. When I'm playing something I really love, it's almost like you become part of it.